Hey everyone, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connect, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players through our social media platforms. Pleasure to be joined this week by five-time PGA Tour champion Jonathan Bird, who joins us from the Media Center at TPC Deer Run, site of this week's John Deere Classic. Hey Jonathan, thanks for the time. Good to be back in the Quad Cities, where you won in 2007? Absolutely. I uh, went in five times on tour. They're all great memories, and uh, anytime you come back to one of those cities, all those uh, memories start coming back, and uh, I've had some other good tournaments here, so uh, my family loves coming here, so the Quad Cities has been good to us. All right, let's jump in for the uh, questions this week for Jonathan Bird through the tour report from Kerry in NYC. What do you think is the key for you to pick up the W this week at the Deer, and will you be able to handle four more rounds in the intense heat if you're still battling an illness? Now, you were a little under the weather last week at the Greenbrier. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better. I was able to get some rest uh, after the tournament was over, and I felt better on the weekend uh, last week, although I played better sick, which is pretty amazing. The main difference is uh, I had, I think I had four three putts on the weekend, which is not like me last week, and I had some loose tee shots, so I just didn't keep the ball in play as well as I did the first two days. So, you know, rolling into this, this week, you hit a fair amount of wedges here at the John Deere Classic, um, so you got to be able to keep the ball in play off the tee, and, uh, and then be sharp with your scoring clubs. And uh, I hope to continue to putt well this week. Jonathan was tied for 22nd at the Greenbrier Classic uh, last week. Another question from one of his fans, Joe, comes through Facebook this week. Jonathan, in what way do you feel your golf swing imitates Ben Hogan's? One, that's very flattering. Uh, I appreciate the, uh, the compliment. Uh, I think, you know, stature, you know, I'm probably about the same size as he is, you know, being 5'8", five, 5'9", five, um, you know, nobody's going to compare my golf swing to Ernie L's being 6'5". I try to swing the club on plane going up in my backswing and then shallow the shaft out and, uh, you know, swing from the inside into the ball and the inside after the ball. And, and that's the way Hogan swung and I don't feel my, my golf swing's quite as good as his or, or definitely not as good. It's a fun comparison when people say that, but you know, I'm trying to swing like Jonathan Bird and not swing like Ben Hogan. Jonathan Bird, 36th in the FedEx Cup standings this year, by the way. Next question comes through Twitter from uh, at GoTigers91. What role does faith play in your golf game? First of all, Go Tigers, for whoever asked that question. Uh, secondly, you know, you know, God's gifted me uh, to play golf on the PGA Tour. He's given me a great platform. There's a lot of struggles on the PGA Tour and you're not always playing well. The year I won here in 07, I missed four cuts coming into that tournament before I won that week. And, uh, and I told people when I got interviewed, I was like, God gave me great peace during that period of time. And he's given me great peace this week when, I, when I've won. I think if you're in a valley or if you're on top of the mountain, you know, God's always there. And, and I want to be able to give God glory whether I'm playing well or whether I'm playing poorly. Um, but how it works out is more people are watching you when you're playing poorly, usually, because they want to see how you react. So those are, those are definitely your character building opportunities when you're not playing your best. Uh, Jonathan Bird, as his fans know, was involved in one of the most dramatic and exciting finishes in PGA Tour history at the Justin Timberlake event in Las Vegas a couple of years ago with a hole-in-one in a playoff just before dark. Here's a question that comes in through Facebook from Dennis Bell. He says, uh, how many times a day do you get asked about that ace finish at the 2010 Timberlake, Jonathan? You know, I've gotten noticed a lot more um, since that shot, since that tournament. Uh, I get noticed in airports. I get noticed... Um, at gas stations, I get noticed in restaurants a lot more, and, and when I get noticed, they, they say, hey, that's the guy that made the hole-in-one. They want to tell me how awesome it was, and they want to tell me what they were doing when the ball went in the hole, of course. So I get to hear a lot of interesting stories, but of all the good stories that I hear, I think I got the best one because uh, my kids were getting bored watching the tournament on the East Coast. My wife, you know, my kids were like, God, is this going to be over? When is this going to be over? And so my wife said, all right, they're probably done. It's getting dark. So she got them to take all their clothes off to go to do bath time. And right when they got naked is when the ball went in the hole. So my kids were in the house jumping up and down naked. So um, I think that's the best story I've heard yet. All right, one more for Jonathan Bird here this week through the tour report or through Facebook, rather, from uh, David S. He says, JB, huge fan. My wife and I went to Clemson with you. We were also standing next to your now wife 
when your golf ball hit her at your first win at the Buick Challenge. He says, I still think it won you the tournament. Now give people a little background on when you plunked Amanda in that tournament back in 2002. Well, first of all, it definitely won me the tournament. I, uh, that was the seventh hole at Callaway Gardens. It was a par five, a hole you need to birdie on Sunday, and I missed it in the right trees. It was going across the cart path. And as I came up to go see where my ball was, a marshal told me I'd hit somebody. And then he said, well, you didn't just hit somebody. You hit your fiance in the back. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, she was OK. She was very winded. Um, but fortunately, I hit her on the right shoulder blade, not the left shoulder blade. Got a great bounce back towards the fairway. And I hit a three-wood on the green and two-putter for birdie and went on to win the tournament by a shot. So she was definitely a team player. She still married me. Um, great story. What a way to break into the PGA Tour winner circle for Jonathan Bird. That was 10 years ago, and now he's looking for his sixth career victory on tour at this week's John Deere Classic. Jonathan, thanks for the time. Hope you're feeling better. We appreciate it. Thanks for connecting with us this week. Thanks for having me.